to the show, everybody. And this is coming out to where the week that everybody just had Thanksgiving. So I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I'm just going to say, so we record this in advance, of course. We had a good Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> just going to go put that energy out there. It was awesome. Best one in, best one in the books. <laughs> <laughs> now, on to Christmas. I don't actually... You already have your tree up. We just got our tree. So, again, this is in advance, but um, we got our tree this weekend. We always get our tree and garland the week before Thanksgiving. But then Jeff won't let me actually decorate the tree until, like, dinner bell is over at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Everything is, like, you know, for the holidays. And I'm like, oh, can I just decorate the tree? Get that one bit over, but I can't have to wait. So I have new ornaments. He's going to have to compromise on that because it'd be nice if the tree were decorated because then at your Thanksgiving dinner, everybody could see it. I'm going to ask him if we can at least put the lights on. Yeah. Well, here's what I did. And I'm, I started doing this this year. And I'm going to keep this up with my husband because he's exactly like your husband. He wants to save the decoration for after Thanksgiving. And this year I was like, no, we're going to start taking turns. So this year I got to put them up early. So I think oh. that... Each year, that's a good compromise, you know, say, Jeff, this is what you want, but this is what I want. So let's start taking turns. I mean, every good marriage is based on compromise. It just takes me so long to put my Christmas decorations out. It takes me a full two days. I mean, whole full days. And I'm very detailed. Like, I also like the boxes to be clean and stuff because they're coming from the attic. So I like clean everything. It's just very systematic. How long does it take you to put yours out? Oh, girl, it takes me two hours. Bam, we done. Like, two hours? Oh, yeah. Times oh, two full working days. <laughs> oh, isn't that fun? We are, you're, we are sisters, there's, but... There's our we, personality right there. <laughs> oh, our per, I'm like this. Uh-uh. I'm like, kids, just don't put more than one ornament on a branch. Let's do this. And we're like high energy with the Christmas music on. Let's go. Let's go. You got little helpers. It's just me. Every little branch. Yeah, but even when it was me, my Christmas tree looks like kids have always decorated my Christmas tree. <laughs> and it will true. look that way until I die because you are very, you know, yeah, you're really good at styling and you take your time. My new Chanasserie navy and white ornaments. Oh, shut up. From Etsy have arrived. They're gorgeous. And then I got these beautiful... <laughs> new uh navy bows with like long tails to go on the tree and because i wanted to match the aesthetics and my and that curtains what's it called like window treatments i'm like we have to keep the navy and and then i have these new stockings i cannot wait and a new belt to hang over the stock oh my gosh i'm so excited okay mine has muppets and garfield <laughs> and a manger where I have to keep on putting tape on it because nice, Ashley. my daughter made it in preschool <laughs> and oh, oh, I look like. But it's fun. It's very fun. It's in that, you're in that stage. I'm in that stage. There is no elegance over here. <laughs> my daughter, I'd had the living room. That's supposed to be mommy's room because I want one space in the house that doesn't look like kids are just like, you know, it's their playroom. And Penelope, the other day I walked in the room, I go, oh. <gasps> what are you doing? She goes, mommy, I'm making a pillow fort. And she got all the pillows off the couch and like moved my little nutcrackers over and everything. And she goes, look how I jump. And I'm like, fun. That's and fun. it's sweet. But this is why I literally, you know, I have nice things, but they're not things that if she jumps on them, I'm gonna like, oh my gosh, that is like irreplaceable. Because I don't want to be that type of you know, that would stress me out. What a fun time this season. We have the Nutcracker coming up and everything. And I did want to say, I hope everybody enjoyed the Christmas gift guides and you got some good stuff. And Cyber Monday, I hope you enjoyed that. So I bought the droplet that we talked about. And it hasn't arrived yet. I am so excited to try this device. If the sale's still going on, I encourage you guys to jump on it. Go listen to the gift guide and get your code because that holiday it was 40 percent off the code that they have on there good grief that is like you're never gonna see that all year long i never see that it's just that one time of year i'm really interested and excited to see my skin transform <laughs> 2023 although my skin i'm very happy with right now by the way very 
I rarely say that, but I, and you're happy with your skin. We have worked really hard. Oh, I'm so happy with my skin. I feel like my skin has looked the best as it has in over 10 years. Actually, y'all, I was having, a, I called Lindsay. This is such a cute story. I called Lindsay on the way home from hot yoga. I do hot yoga early, early, early or hot Pilates first thing in the morning. And this was so cute because I was in class and afterwards this lady in my class came over to me and she was like, excuse me. And I was like, yes. And she was like, is your sister Lindsay? <laughs> and I go, she is. And she goes, oh my gosh. She goes, I was looking at you in class and I just was kept on thinking, is that Lindsay? Is it not? Because Lindsay and I have, you know, different voices, but she said, are y'all twins? And I said, no. I said, we get that so much because we're very close in age. I said that Lindsay and I have a sister rule. I said, our sister rule is if somebody's staring at us, we're not allowed to make a face because that person is probably trying to figure out, is that Lindsay or is that Ashley or what's going on? I had to make that sister rule out of some situations that you're like, oh my God. (laughs) <laughs> oh, Lindsay's made some faces when people thought that I was her and they were staring at her. And I'm like, oh, Lindsay. I think it was the other way around, sis. I think it was. And then it was the other way around where I would like, somebody stare at me. I'm like, what? And so we had to come up with, okay, they're trying to figure out what's going on. They're confused. So we need to always have our smiles on. <laughs> and they're like, they think we're the other person. Yeah. And then it looks like one of us is being super snotty. So we have to just pretend and always smile. But since you're talking about products, I finally got to try the, is it Ourself, the lip product? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Ourself. Is it Ourself, the brand? Okay. I tried that this weekend because I had some nutcracker parent meeting things to go to. So I was like, let me try it out because I'm actually going out and I'm seeing people. I am stunned. It worked. It worked. I couldn't believe it. It. In what ways did it work? Okay. Let me tell you the ways it worked. I'm so excited. Let me calm down a little bit. It actually, I can see why it said that it makes it look like you got like a touch of filler. What it did was I've had other lip glosses that are like, oh, it'll puff your lips out. Basically what it does, it like irritates your skin or dries it out to make it swell. Yeah. With usually with like super strong peppermint and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I was wondering, I was like, okay, I wonder if it's going to be like that product. No, it was not at all. I had just a slight tingle, nothing that would, and I'm very sensitive. It did not bother me at all. And what it did was it looked like it expanded the skin on my lips. And then on the outside of my lips, it like, it's like it, I can't explain. It's like it drew, it looked like it drew like a little line or something. And then I put the conditioning oil on top of it and it made it pop. I could notice a difference in my lips. I am impressed. I'm very impressed. Well, I want to see a before and after. I know. I was thinking I should do a before and after because it literally, and I'm picky. I'll do one too. I'm picky. It really works. Like I'm going to buy it again. It was really great. I mean, well, we got this in as a sample, excuse me, to try out and I would buy this product and I'm going to buy this product when my sample runs out because it actually works. So if you are somebody that wants your lips to be fuller, try this product. You will be pleasantly surprised. I guess that means it's going in the spa shop. (laughs) <laughs> going on our spot yeah, it's going in the spa shop. And I will say this, I'm so glad they sent us a sample. I think it was at a little higher of a price point. It's full size, by the way. When you say sample, it makes me think of those little tiny things you get at the mall. But this is a full product. It's Yeah, full product size. Anyways, yeah, it was a full size product. And I've got to look back, but I think it was at a higher price point. It is. And I'm glad that they sent us some because I would have not probably tried it. And now that I've tried it, I can share with y'all. Yes, it's worth the money. Yes, it works. And it looks like you got it's just it looks like you got a little bit of like a touch up. I'm really excited. That's awesome. Because I'm scared to put a needle in my lip. Yeah. And if we don't have to, let's don't, you know? Yeah. So good job to ourselves. Ourselves. Yeah. (laughs) The company. Well, that's good to know. 
I've tried the conditioning oil. I have not tried the lip filler yet. So I'm excited to try that. It makes me want to try it. You're going to be really pleased. I'm always trying to draw in my top lip. I'm like, can we just make that a little bit larger? <laughs> and it did work on my pigment like it said it did. So, and it was a natural pigment color. I went to the parent meeting with just the plumper and the gloss on and my lips I was literally talking to my husband and my daughter oh mommy's lips look so good blah, 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 blah. I mean it was it really I'm excited we had that on our gift guide and so now we're trying this and now we're like go get it that's awesome today we are going to go into talking about jojoba oil I love jojoba oil so we're talking about oils today I used jojoba oil early on in my aesthetics career, mainly for massage, facial massage is when I started to use that oil and learn about it because when you start out as an esthetician and I'm going on, wow, I think we're going into my 13th year actually, but when you start out as an esthetician, when you're doing your facial massages, you will go through many different types of oils. And I just kept going back to the jojoba oil. So I did research about it. And I was like, oh, wow, this has such great benefits. The slip is great. I just loved it. So we're going to share about that today. A lot of people are still scared of oils. They think they're going to break out with them or make their skin look greasy. And there's a tip that we can give you about that in our um We'll tell you a little bit later or find that, but that we have a tip on how to lighten it, how to not look greasy with that. But before I was an esthetician, I definitely did not use oils. I had that same thought process about oils and it took me actually years, even after I was a licensed esthetician to finally practicing using oils on my own skin. I still was just so apprehensive because back then my, I had such an oily complexion. Now it's combo. And I can use oils all the time and I just love them. So sometimes they're either not using the proper oil because there's different types of oils or they're not applying it properly or they're using way too much. So we're going to take a deep dive into jojoba oil. And by the way, I just, it is pretty cute when I do have people say they don't pronounce it jojoba. And so they're like, I'm using jojoba or whatever. I'm like, okay, it's newbie here, but it's so cute when they say that. Now, jojoba oil has many nourishing ingredients, which I really love, including just a couple of things up that they have is vitamin B. Vitamin B speeds up wound healing and it delays dark spots and wrinkle formation. It also has iodine. That's that healing property, which really helps, especially with acneic skin. Vitamin E, that's an awesome ingredient. I love vitamin E. Improves elasticity, fights off pollutants. And then other things that's wrapped into it, it's copper, zinc, chromium. It has fatty acids such as oleic, gadolaic, and irisic. I can't pronounce them. I'm going to spell it E-R-U-C-I-C. Actually, do you know how to say that? You're sick. Oh, no. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> You're sick. So due to the fatty acids, vitamins, and polyunsaturated wax properties, jojoba oil provides some powerful benefits to your skin and hair. And I will say it just feels good. It doesn't feel too thick. It's so close to, it's the oil that is the closest to your body's natural producing oil. So that is why it just feels so, well, to be honest, natural. Yeah. And I go into more into that later in the podcast. I'll go into and, and explain why that is so, and, and you're going to love that section. But before I get there, Lindsay was mentioning about the skin benefits, but it also has hair benefits. So especially I have noticed since the weather's changed and we're in the winter season, my hair is drier. And so you can use jojoba oil on the ends of your hairs for split ends. It also improves your texture and replenishes the moisture. So so just a tips, right? Just add Yeah, or you tips. can well, here's what I actually did this weekend. My hair, it was so crazy. It looked I had just got a fried perm. I don't know what was going on. I have huh. no idea. It was really dry outside and I had to go to, you know, a couple of meetings this week. So I put on a cute little beanie hat and then I got the jojoba oil and I just put a few drops on it and I ran it not only on the ends, but through my hair and it gave, it made it so pretty. It gave it a shiny, glossy look. So it looked like I had, you know, really pretty hair. Another thing is that 
you can either put it on your fingertips and run it through here or put it on your brush. I like to use it on my fingertips and then whatever's left over, I like to rub into my hands. And just a drop, right? Just like, I mean, just very little. Yeah, just a drop or two. Start off with a drop, depending on, my hair is long, so it depends on your hair. So, so less is more because you can always add to it. It's also really fantastic as a detangler. So if you have children out there and they have long hair and they are, you know, it's just a pain to brush their hair, put a drop of the jojoba oil in their hair and that will make it so easy to come out. I do this for my daughter and oh, it's night and day. Yeah, I'm thinking right here on my ponytail, like the very ends, I think th they look... Dry. dry but I can't do it on my scalp because my scalp gets really oily so I think I'm going to take a drop and just put it on the very ends right here and just kind of smooth this out I'm gonna ooh, I'm gonna do that right after the show I can't wait yes and I'll tell you something it makes such a difference because you go from Michael Myers hair you know from Halloween to um I don't think we need to get on that level I mean I still look cute it's just the ends Ashley <laughs> <laughs> well that's the level that it locks over on this side. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. Oh, this is what I was going to say too. If you are having, you know, it's around the holidays. So we, some of us may be experiencing some hair loss. I don't know. But if you, you know, because that can come from stress or if you're just going through some changes and you're experiencing hair loss, Try taking a few do drops and massaging it into your scalp. That's going to encourage hydration and that will also promote hair growth. I know, Lindsay, you mentioned that your hair is, your scalp is greasy. I talk about why, well, I'll just go ahead and say now, my scalp's greasy too. And that's because we are producing excess sebum. So um, you and I wouldn't be putting that on our scalp. No, and also mine is because I had a keratin treatment. And so sometimes when you have a keratin treatment, it just, you don't need that because you have all that. And it's, the keratin treatment is loosening up. So it's like, I'm in this weird stage where I still don't need to condition my hair, but the ends are dry. So yeah, I'm looking forward to do that. I would probably, if you did have some hair loss and doing the massaging, I'm just going to recommend to just add one drop of rosemary to that drop when you're, you know, when you're massaging that rosemary also helps with just hair loss and promoting growth. And maybe you could put that on and then use a scalp massager as well. I could just like a whole experience with that. That's a good idea because you want to stimulate the follicles and stimulate blood flow to get it working. Yeah. And then after that, micro needle and put a hair serum in, and then do your LED hat, and you're good to go. <laughs> oh yeah, I was. I have to say, I was on a walk with my husband yesterday, and um, I started going on a skin tangent because you know I'm out in the I'm out in the daylight. I'm looking at his skin, and I was like, you know, <laughs> you need to hydrate. So what we need to start doing is getting you on a low skin regimen maintenance thing. And so I, he was listening to me kind of like, uh-huh, uh-huh. So then yesterday when he got out of the shower, I go, oh, this is the perfect time to do the skin regimen. I told you, your skin is damp. So the product's going to absorb into your skin. And he just walked out of the room. So this is what I'm going to do with Jeff. I cannot get to put anything on his skin. He's like, stay away. What is that? Why will he not do that? So what I'm going to do, I told him, I said, we're going to have you use one thing. And I'm going to have the one skin on his skin because it doesn't feel too thick or because he has really oily skin and it will actually do something for his skin Okay. without having to have all these multiple steps. So I'm going to have him do that. Mine was literally so simple. Puts I will probably have to apply it onto his skin. Okay. As he runs away from me. <laughs> it's a battle. Yeah, as he moves away from you, it's so weird. Anyways, sorry for that tangent. I just don't like it. And I hear other women talk about, oh, they finally got their husband easy. I'm like, no, mine. Uh-uh. He didn't want nothing to do with it. Mine doesn't either. Oh, my gosh. Well, jojoba oil, you're going to think it's not good for acne, but it actually is. It does not, it should not clog your pores because it is rich in iodine, which actually fights the bacteria that causes those breakouts. 
I love how it often it also softens fine lines and wrinkles, so naturally slows down the aging process. I like to use jojoba oil when I use my gua sha. It just really just offers a smooth glide, especially under your eyes and when you're going down your lymph drainage, like down your neck. I love using a hope oil. It's just it, it's just so easy to use that. The hope oil has the ability to increase wound healing while stimulating collagen. Now, I will say if you are a little weary, if you have acneic skin, do what I always say to do or recommend. Just start slow. Just see how your skin does with it. Do a small test patch on your skin and then just gradually increase. And then you 100% know if it is for you. So just try that. I usually say that with any skincare product. I like double cleansing. It removes all the makeup, dirt, oils. When I say dirt, I mean, I kind of more mean like dust, pollution, stuff like that from your face before applying. You mean filth, Lindsay. If y'all listen to one of our past podcasts, Lindsay went on a tangent <laughs> about how this one product was supposed to remove dirt. And Lindsay was like, so I looked up dirt and it said filth. <laughs> and I don't have filth on my face. So I like, you know, I take a walk. I get that there's pollutants, but I don't have like <laughs> literally like dirt and mud on there. Okay. <laughs> So use your hope oil. Get that dirt off, ladies. <laughs> It'll remove the felt off your filthy face. Yeah, that's just, just, just like, <laughs> gosh, who worked on that ad campaign? So anyway. Not, not a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. So I like to think of hope oil or whatever oil that you like as your first cleanse. It's fantastic at moving makeup. When you do, speaking of makeup, like if you have eye makeup on, I like to leave it on there and just kind of have my microfiber cloths gently and just hold it there for like a minute. Just it allows it to actually be able to penetrate and like work, do its thing versus getting it on real super fast. But so let it absorb just a little bit, but it helps with um, also removing that bacteria and pollutants off your face. Then follow up with a gel or a cream cleanser, depending on your skin type for your second cleanse for your skincare routine. If you need to, just your skin talks to you. People ask, oh, what's my skin type? I have the notion of, I don't know, what's it telling you it is that day? I feel like our skin changes. It changes all the time. I don't want everybody to put them, they always put themselves in a box. So, oh, my skin type's like this. I, just as from my personal experience and with my clients, my clients would tell me how their skin is. And guess what? Every time I see them, each month their skin is different. Each month is different. I know each day my skin is different. So just kind of know instead which products to use on how your skin is that day. If it's drier or more dehydrated or more oily, you'll if you have more sunscreen or makeup, that'll allow you to figure out, oh, today I need to use um, a gel cleanser and, or I need to use this cream cleanser instead. Another tip that I like to use with jojoba oil, which is one of my favorites, I shave my face and you want to use an oil to help like smooth it out and to not have bacteria breakouts and stuff like that. So you do it before you shave your face, like you apply the oil and then do the razor? Just a drop. Yeah, just like a drop. And then it just, and I have inside our skincare community, I have a video that says how to shave your face and it'll go over all the things. I prefer to also use like after I shave my face, just some tips. I like to use a cold roller. Sometimes I'll use high frequency, like if you break out after that. So some really cool tips in there on how to shave your face. Oils are a really good glide and it softens your skin too. So it, it also helps you prevent razor burn. Who wants razor burn? And if you want to join our community, it's absolutely free. It's called La Pre Beauty. It's super easy to go to join. Just head to lindsayholder.com and just click the join button or start your free trial or whatever. It's free. It's so it's easy. It's fun. And if you have any questions, you can go in there and ask us. You also have access to Lindsay's facial videos, all of the skin school what you're going over our next couple of podcasts, you're going to go over skin school and what's in skin school. And then I'm going to go into like a behind the scenes and then I'm going to go into a behind the scenes on some videos of what you'll see inside the membership. So yeah, good stuff. And yeah. So now I'd like to say saving the best for last, but man, there's just so many 
benefits to jojoba oil that I'm just going to say instead of that, I'm just going to say continuing on. It's so fantastic for a moisturizer. So you can use this to moisturize your skin as well as what I said earlier is your scalp because as long as you said at the very beginning of the podcast, it adds is close to our natural oils. And those natural oils that our body produces is called sebum. So as we age, so we're all getting older, our bodies produce less sebum. And that's why... Not me, Ashley. I am reversing my age by one skin. <laughs> and the LED lights. I mean, yes. Okay. But anyways... I mean, don't take Ashley off her stuff to talk about. H- heaven forbid I, I make a comment in between. Boy, it, it sure you used to be an actor. You should be able to do impromptu. It's not that. I'm in teaching mode. And I'm like, I did not call your name, little student. Yeah, be quiet. Lady, came and- <laughs> I'm going to talk when I want to talk. <laughs> no, because I get so excited about the information and I want to share it because I want people to know and I'm so excited. And I guess that's the nerdy part of me where I'm like, no, listen to what it does. Your body's natural oils is called sebum. You didn't know that. Yeah, but if you have like a talk show and your guest wants to say something, you can't just be like, <sighs> yeah. <sighs> be quiet. Yeah, I'm no Oprah and I'm not Ellen DeGeneres. There's two there's two mics here. Yeah, I guess that's why we work well together. Shut up, Lindsay. Ah. Anyways, so our bodies produce less sebum, okay? And that's why you're getting the dry skin and the itchy scalp, and that can lead to dandruff. However, what Lindsay and I have is too much sebum, and that's because our hormone levels are high, and that can cause an oily scalp, which both Lindsay and I have, Or it can also cause oily or acneic skin. So here's the cool, cool thing about a hobo oil is that it removes excess oil and buildup. So you're thinking, okay, well, what? I thought this was just for dry skin. No. Okay, so jojoba oil will work for all types of skin conditions, oily skin, eczema, dry skin, or whatever. And this is why. Because jojoba oil and I want you to remember this key part, is so incredibly similar to the sebum that our body produces naturally. So our bodies are able to regulate it. I thought that was so cool. So let me explain it to you. When you put on jojoba oil and your skin is feeling soothed, it actually sends a signal to your body, don't produce excess sebum oil. I mean, is that not neat? I thought that was because when I first heard a while ago, years ago, oh, it's so close to your natural skin, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, great. Yes, I'll use a hub oil. But when I figured out, oh my goodness, this is why you want it to be that way because it tricks your body into saying, hey, don't produce excess stuff. So I just, I really loved that part of the science of it. That's a really cool piece. I think that's really neat. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. Okay. So we talked about, you know, it's great for moisturizing, but the reason why is it helps keep the moisture in your skin. So that way it's going to reduce the water loss because it sits on top of your skin. Okay. It sits on top of your skin and it forms an oily layer and that traps the water. So with like other moisturizers that are water-based, You're going to find out, well, why is my skin dry? I just put it on like not that long ago. It's because it evaporates quickly. I'm sorry. I'm getting so excited. I'm talking so fast. This is when you know you have your passion. You're really not talking that fast. You're really talking like this. I think my brain is going so fast because I'm so (laughs) excited. And that's when you know, like. I'm scared to interrupt and even say anything. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. (laughs) <laughs> just gonna Your skin school is in session <laughs> anywho and it's also fast absorbing how hobo oil, oil is is because it's so close to our body's natural oil so it's not only fast absorbing but it's also not going to evaporate okay so here's a tip for you when you're buying one by the way we have them in we have the ones that Lindsay and I love in our spa store our skin store which again can be found on lindsayholder.com you can just go to shop and you can see the ones that we like also I did want to say the reason what we have in there are cold pressed oils and you're thinking well who cares why does that matter it does matter because 
all the nutrients are going to be in those cold pressed oils. So it's also cold pressed means it's naturally pressed. Okay, so jojoba oil is a fantastic cold pressed oil. Other oils include plum, sea buckthorn, prickly pear. I love that name and rosehip oil. And just for your reference, refined oils, you probably hear that around all the time. Those are the bad kind because they don't contain any nutrients. And so the companies use heat to force the oil out of those nuts and seeds. So then the nutrients are damaged. So that's why if you're hearing things, you know, about, oh, you don't want to eat refined oils and things like that. I just kind of want to put that in for your information. Isn't that funny how it's just, again, the food and your skin aligns? You know, the same thing when you pick out an, an avocado oil or an olive oil, you want it cold pressed. It's just, I always love how what you eat and what you put on your skin, they really do collide together a lot of times. And you know what it is too? It's usually around the same price. Maybe it may be a few dollars more, but what determines the health of it is really all about education and just being educated because Something that can be fantastic for your body and maybe just $3 more is all about choosing the right one. So that's why it's so important for all of us to be knowledgeable and to always continue learning because you want to have the quality of life. And if it just comes down to, hey, which oil should I use, this cold pressed olive oil or the other olive oil, do the cold pressed. I mean, you know, prevention is everything. Anyways, moving on, Lindsay and I, we both love to use cold pressed jojoba oil on our face hands, neck, and don't forget your feet. And then again, as Lindsay was saying before, you only need one, two drops max per area, and then allow your skin to absorb it. Otherwise, you're going to look a little greasy. (laughs) That's right. Oh, we have a really hot skin tip coming in at you hot (laughs) inside our skincare membership at lindsayholder.com. And this tip, I'm not going to give it away, but it's the difference between a glowy look and a greasy look. This one hot tip. It's inside. Actually, where is it inside? It's inside your... It's inside Skin School and the jojoba oil. Okay, so what you do is you go to lindsayholder.com. You put your first and last name in, your email. I think it makes you do a password, and boom, you're in because you need to be able to get in the community and then go to the skin school section and in the jojoba, it'll tell you what that hot tip is. And I have a little fire emoji for my hot tips. Okay. I like that. I mean, I'm just going out all bonkers on you. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Now, just if you are a computer person, the community is great to log in to the community on your desktop. I'm an app person, so I have our app on our phone, which is so easy because I can just check it out of the time. It's got your notifications in there. So when you join, actually, if you go to lindsayholder.com, it tells you how to get the app. Or if you go inside the community, it also shows you how to get the app. But I'm just going to guide you real quick. All you have to do is go on your phone, go to the app store, look up Circle Platforms, it is a purple icon with a C on it. It's got us in this, you know, in a circle. Download that. Once you download the circle platform. Is it circle community though? Because I remember when I downloaded it, there was like more than one circle. I couldn't believe it. So if you go into the app store, I'm going to do it right now because I already have circle downloaded and I'm hitting the search button and I'm typing in circle community. Nope. It's circle communities. Is that purple or blue? It's purple. Okay, purple. Or blue. It's like actually, I'm like or blue. It's a dark. Listen, the other ones are teal. This one is a dark blue or purple. Dark blue. Circle communities. Hit open. Or, or got to download circle, and it's free. Then you just search for Lapri Beauty. That is our community and download it. And then and then you're in. Like it'll ask you for your pass. I think it asks you for your password there. You're in. So it's so easy for the app, which we did an awesome job at explaining. <laughs> hey, if that was not on the fly. Well, let's look it up. It's is it purple? Is it blue? Yeah, that's obviously not in the show notes. We just that's what happens when we don't have show notes. We're like, let's just let's just wing it. Let's just do this on the fly. Let's just wing it. 
anyway, we can't wait to see you in there. All the jojoba oil recommendations are in our spa store, which are linked inside the app online at lindsayholder.com, everything. We say all this stuff over and over and over because we just want you not have to search for it and that you can just easily get to it. Everything is also linked in the show notes that we're talking about right now, just on your phone when you're listening to the podcast. Two things, you can either scroll down, you'll see our link to get into the community, or you can go to lindsayholder.com and our podcast show notes are there as well. So anyway, that's all the business talks. I wanted to go over that. And we look forward to next week. This is where we start our behind the scenes two part episode. Ashley's first talking about skin school. That'll be the following week. And then the week after that, I'm going to be talking about what is in our skincare secrets videos behind the scenes. And it kind of gives you a peek on what Ashley does for and then what I do like exactly and examples of that too. I hope everybody is enjoying their Christmas holiday season, their decorations and having a wonderful time. Thanks for listening and we will see you next week.